Hey, this is Tyler, Technical Evangelist for Portrait Displays. In this video, we're going to show you how to calibrate a 2020 LG OLED television for HDR. Items you will need for calibration are a PC or Mac running bootcamp or virtual machine, Calman Home for LG software, a compatible colorimeter, and a USB drive that's formatted to FAT32. If you haven't already, make sure you watch the SDR version of this tutorial video that's available on the Portrait Displays YouTube page. It has more detailed instructions on the process of downloading the video clips and loading them onto a thumb drive to plug into the TV and its internal media player that you need to have running during the calibration process. So make sure you watch that video first if you haven't already. Okay, let's get into the process. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to our Calman menu and go to Open Workflow Template and select LG AutoCal under the Display Specific submenu. Okay, now we're going to select whether we're an OLED or an LCD, and then we're going to select HDR. There will be a separate Dolby Vision tutorial also available on our YouTube page. Okay, now that we've selected OLED and HDR, we're going to hit Next. Now we're going to connect to our meter. In this case, we're using an X-Rite i1 Display Pro Plus. It's plugged into my Calman machine via USB. Now, if the cable is too short to reach your television, you can use a USB extension cable, but we recommend keeping that under 15 feet or 3 meters long. Sorry. We recommend keeping that under 15 feet or 5 meters long. Okay, so now we're going to hit our Find Meter button. Okay, and now we're going to select Raw XYZ as our meter mode. If you've created your own custom meter profile using a spectra radiometer, you would select that down here. Okay, also we want to enable our what we call our low light handler, which is right here, and we want to set it to 5 seconds under 1 nit. Okay, the next step is to find our source, and this is the internal pattern generator in our LG TV. You should already be playing the USB thumb drive video. Okay, the next step is to find our source, which are our source of test patterns. This is going to be the internal pattern generator in our 2020 LG OLED television. So we're going to hit find source. We're going to select manufacturer LG. We're going to select 2020. If you have a 2019 TV, there are 2019 specific tutorials on our YouTube page as well. Okay, back to the tutorial. We're going to enter our IP address of our TV, 192.16. And then hit connect. We're going to see an eight digit pin code pop up on the screen of our TV. We're going to enter it here. And then we're going to hit OK. We want to make sure our window pattern is set to 10% here. And then if you would like to use an alternative white point, you can enter the XY values here. OK, the next thing we need to do is go up to LG here, and we need to go to Color Space and change this to HDR 2020. It's a very important step. OK, we're going to go to Next. Now we're going to do our pre-calibration measurements. In this case, the TV is set to HDR cinema mode. So I'm going to hit our read series button here.
Okay, our pre-calibration measurements are complete. We're gonna to go to next. Now we're gonna to connect to the TV as a display. So we're gonna go find LG TV. We're gonna select our model. If you have a CX or GX or any of these other ones, we wanna select here. If you have a BX or an LCD, you wanna select this. So we're gonna select that. We're gonna enter our IP address again. But we do not need to enter the pin code again. Okay, so we're gonna go down here and select HDR Cinema. And you will see the screen go green, that is normal. Okay, and now we're gonna hit full DDC reset. This is gonna upload Unity 1D and 3D lookup tables and prepare the TV for calibration. Or prepare this picture mode for calibration. Now, if you would like to calibrate the HDR game mode, you cannot use the internal media player with the USB files. You need to use an external device like a Blu-ray player or a game console that is set to limited range output to play the video files or any HDR video content that is an hour or longer in order to access the HDR game mode. So be aware of that. Okay, now our reset is complete, so we're gonna to go to next. You wanna make sure enable calibration is checked. Okay, now we're gonna hit auto cal here. We're gonna do an auto cal of our grayscale 1D lookup table. Okay, now we're gonna perform the 1D LUT grayscale calibration. So before we do this, we want to change our Delta E AutoCal formula to ITP or check that it's ITP. So it already is, so we're good, but you wanna check that because that will provide a little bit more accuracy. So we're gonna hit AutoCal. And what this is going to do, all of our LG HDR processing is turned off in the TV right now, and we're just gonna be calibrating the panel in its HDR mode to a perfect 2.2 gamma curve. Okay, we wanna make sure that LG 20 points HDR is selected and then hit okay. Okay, our 1D LUT grayscale calibration is complete. It took almost 25 minutes. Okay, we can hit okay. Go to the next step, which is create our matrix LUT. So we're gonna hit auto cal. And this is creating a 3D LUT with matrix, three by three matrix math. So we measure the primaries and the white point and we create a 3D LUT from that. 
and this is only for HDR. No other method is supported for HDR because of panel instability at really high luminance levels. Okay, next step. This is where we do our custom tone curve setup. So we have the ability to modify the roll off shape, uh, not shape, but point in the LG. We've done a lot of testing and what I recommend is changing roll off point one to 50, roll off point two to 40, and roll off point three to 30. Then we're gonna measure our peak luminance for white. And this is individually based on the panel. So 696, so we're gonna enter 696 here. Then we're gonna hit this button to upload our tone map. Okay, now we're gonna to go to next. Uncheck enable calibration. The screen will go green on the TV, that's normal. Go to next. Now we're gonna do our post calibration measurements by hitting our read series button. Okay, our post calibration measurements are complete. A lot of people ask about this area. That is because with the HDR gamma curve or EOTF, it's called ST2084, the TV is doing a roll off of the highlights and that is reflected here. So this is completely normal. There's nothing wrong with the calibration. Okay, we go to the next step. So then we can see our before and after. This is our HDR cinema mode before. This is our HDR cinema mode after. And the calibration for HDR is complete. There will be another video that covers Dolby Vision on the Portrait Displays YouTube page. So make sure you check that out so you can do your Dolby Vision calibration. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell so you can get notified when we put up uh, new tutorial videos or other videos and thank you very much for joining us here and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.